On this episode of Bass to Billfish, the McDonald's are a hockey-obsessed family who have been longing for a vacation. The farthest south they've been is in the basement of their house. After being selected for Bass to Billfish, host Peter Miller shows this competitive family No, actually, I'm winning. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. On. That there is life outside the hockey rink. Florida, the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish, presented by Yellowfin. So how cool would it be to invite the McDonald's down to Florida to go on a fishing trip? The family we got for the show were great. They just came across as very natural and the video cracked me up. You <laughs> <laughs> should send in a video. Stop it. They don't get a chance to go anywhere at any time and they were begging to come down here. We go to hockey 24-7. I coach you guys. I coach all three of you and this is the first break we've had. Mike, hey, it's Peter. How's it going? So I'm on my way to the airport, and I call the guys like I do in every show to make sure that they're getting there on time. Everything looks like it's uh, ready to go. Are you kidding? These guys came in early. They changed the flight without telling me because they were so excited to come down here. Two days ago? You got to be kidding me. You couldn't resist, huh? So we had a little change of plans, and I told them to meet me at the boat ramp in about two hours. I pull up in the boat to meet them at the dock. They were excited, you know, handshakes and introductions. These guys were 100% energy, excitement, ready to go. So I just knew it was going to be a great trip. I'm so excited you guys are here. It's going to be a blast. Mike was really funny. He tries to embarrass his kids a lot, and he does a really good job at it. They kick after me. I was kind of a big deal back in the day. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> no. So Mike was telling me a funny story about how he got this Letterman's jacket uh, for winning this championship. I was going to bring the 88 prep jacket with me, but they got embarrassed. <laughs> I won. No, he does it to all of my friends. Like, whenever they come over, he's like, oh, did you hear about my blah, 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 and then he puts on the jacket. And he just likes to make people laugh. And that's really what he's done. I mean, he's just made me laugh the entire trip. His whole family's just been cracking me up. You guys couldn't stand it, huh? So you had to come down a little early. Yeah, we came down a little early, spent the, uh, the weekend in Fort Myers. It was yeah. fun. Anytime we go to a new area, it's really important to do some investigative work. And we found a guy named Mike Smith down here. And he was our guide for the first day of fishing. Mike, what do you call Snook down here? Snook. Snook. Snook, yeah. snook fish. Mike. Yeah. This is a, that's a snook. Wow. Oh. Oh. I don't want Maggie getting one of those later yeah. on, you know? That's, that's not the only one. All right, let's get this uh, Let's get yeah. this potty stocked. Since you guys wanted to chill out at the hotel for a while, I'll take you and Mags out on the boat and uh, try to catch some fish. And we'll all have dinner later at Tween Waters and hang out. You can just go into the front desk there. Pool, tennis courts, kayaks, spa. Just put it on my room. Spa? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> The area that Mike took us to was a really neat spot. It's uh, kind of a windy, mangrovey little area. It was a beautiful spot, and the snooks sit up in those mangroves, and they ambush bait. Keep your rod tip up, get a little slack out. I didn't really know what to expect. I've never been fishing in Florida, and like I didn't know what we were going to catch and stuff. If he hits it, let him have it, reel down, set the hook. You got him. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, hold on. This thing doesn't have a prayer. Follow your fish. Follow them up here. Look That's at like Mike. Huge. Wow. Here, bring them over here. Don't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Look at that, huh? Max is really competitive, by the way. <laughs> the rush was almost like winning the 88 prep championship. Oh, Captain but, Mike putting us on the fish. Other than, you know, my three children being born, it was probably the best day of my life. <laughs> It could be Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller and Mike McDonald. 
I was feeling great, you know I mean? You know, you catch it that quickly and you think you're just gonna start reeling them left and right. The competitive nature of this hockey family, it's just like, I gotta win. I don't care if you're my daughter, my dad, my mom, my sister, they all wanna win. <sighs> Stand back, watch your dad do this again. Mags and I are probably more similar than any of the other kids in the, in the family, you know? And so we get pretty competitive. Max, you were talking a good game this morning in the hotel. I want a new hockey stick. I'm going to beat you fishing. I know, because it's the truth. So we had a little wager on the line. But what are you going to get if you win? What was the deal? I don't even know. Oh, um, I'm going to get a hockey stick that I designed. Really? What's it called? Uh, Vapor 60. I customized it with like the colors I wanted and they're impossible to break, and Charity has one, and it's, it's like a $190 stick. Come on, it's really heavy. That's what I like to hear. Come on. Oh, Maggie. Maggie, you got to snook. There we go. Leave him in the water there for a second. OK, you can swing him in. This is so heavy. It's going to like snap my wrist. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. That was That's awesome. really heavy. That Good job, Maggie. Nice. So now we're tied. No, actually, I'm winning. No, you're not. It's yeah, I am. On. Are you excited now? Yes, because I'm going to beat you. I did a lot of squirrel fishing. Well, that happens when you throw the rod and, and the bait right into the, into the cactus or the bush or whatever you want to call it. And then you got to try to snag it out. <laughs> squirrel fishing. <laughs> I'm going to go squirrel fishing. Sorry. How did that, where did that term come from? I love it. Hold on, Mags. I'm going to go squirrel fishing. I think fishing, a lot of it has to do with luck. And I just, you know, the lady luck wasn't on my side, I guess. <laughs> Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Thank you for giving me a point. It is a snook. Oh. Looks like we got a winner. Winner for the day. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Unleash your Florida side. Go to visitflorida.com. Yellowfin. Choice of champions. Pet Boys. Does everything for less. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. While fishing for snook in southwest Florida, hockey dad Mike and daughter Maggie have started a friendly wager to see who can catch the most fish. Stand back, watch your dad do this again. Now, the competition heats up. Yeah, that's a nice one. Nice one, Dad's got him on. You getting these Popeyes? Mike winds up catching a snook that's slightly bigger than than Mag, so he says the size of that. That's two. No, Dad, that's not two. That's, that's not two. fair. No. That's two. No, Dad, that's not fair. <laughs> so we're back and forth and back and forth. What do you think, Maggie? Same exact size as yours? Yeah, that's one. I made the call. I said, no way, Mike. It only counts as one fish. And they're, you know, messing with each other and, you know, competing. Well, Maggie's got one on real faster. Faster, you're doing great. That's a mangrove Does that snapper. count? Yes, that counts. yeah, that counts. Thank you for giving me a point. Dad, I'm winning. Vanel Maggie Mac, I will have to admit, she's in the lead, but uh, I've got the, uh, the luck of the Irish on my side. Hold, hold on. There you go. It is a snook. <sighs> and she just starts cleaning up. Got him on. That's a nicer one. It was hard. I thought it was gonna like break my wrist. Wind out fast. Keep going, Mag. I'm trying. That's a much bigger fish. Oh my goodness. My God. That is a hog. Yikes. Oh, Mag. I, I can't able to say this is a pig. <laughs> there nice. we go. Nice fish. Oh, that fish, you hurt my hand. Wow. Looks like we got a winner. Winner for the day. Maggie, fist pump, do it. And then a bump and explode. It was all so cool, like the fish that we caught and all that. We were so psyched. It's been everything and, you know, more. It was still early, so we wanted to get back to Captiva for a special event. So we dropped Cat and Mike off and we headed back to Tween Waters Inn. We saw manatees. Oh my God. Watch it. Oh, cool. I've never seen one up close in there. What a beautiful, it's just so docile and calm and uh, it, it was really amazing. All right, Mags, we'll get a family shot right there. 
Why are we standing here? <laughs> I don't know. You guys want to go to the, the, the famous crab races over here? The crab races are something I've been hearing about for a long time, and they're only over here at Tween Waters Inn. All right. Everybody's first name, where you're from, and your crab's name? They have them underneath this like lid, and then they pull the lid off, and the first crab across the line wins the race. So it's uh, it was a good time. It's like three crabs heading straight to me. Peter, it appears you have a dead fish in your pocket. <laughs> we just come in from fishing. I had snook all over me. I've never seen so many crabs run to one guy ever before. <laughs> he might have had a point there. Definitely had the right bait. Bring them in. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Have you ever caught a fish? Wow, we got to catch him a fish. Luckily, I had my boy Madison there, who's a professional bass fisherman. It was a sudden rush, like an adrenaline. It was really fun, like, catching the fish. A friendly competition between dad and daughter proves who is the real champion in the family. Winner for the day, Maggie. Now, Peter takes them out for a little retail therapy. We pull up to Bass Pro and they were just amazed at the enormity of this place. I've never been into a Bass Pro Shops and I was quite surprised at what they had in there. They had absolutely everything, even a restaurant. I got a uh, lovely gift certificate for you guys to Bass Pro so you gotta do a little, a little shopping spree. Hey Mike, look, it's Peter Miller. Oh my God. <laughs> What's cool about the Bass Pro Shops, you got something for everybody there. While we were shopping in there, I started talking to the son, Mike. Your dad never took you fishing because you've been too focused on hockey, huh? Yeah, never, he never, uh, never really been into fishing either, have I? Have you ever caught a fish? No, never. No way. Mike's a freshman in high school and he's never caught a fish before. And our youngest daughter, Emma, um, has always wanted to catch a fish and maybe, you know, <laughs> my fault for not taking her fishing, you know, I taught her how to ride a bike. Emma, hey, have you ever caught a bass before? No? Bass Pro in Fort Myers has this really nice little pond behind the store. I talked to the manager of the store and he said that he's got a fishing rod that he can loan you and one for your brother and he says there's some nice largemouth bass in here that he said we can go catch. They put a bass boat into the water for us. They get a bucket of live shiners. He gave us rods, reels, hooks, everything. Luckily, I had my boy Madison there. How's the fishing been lately? Pretty good. I've been putting a hurting on them. So uh, hopefully we'll have a good day out there, catch a couple fish, and have a good time, mostly. Got him on right Mike's there, got Pete. Him on. Nice, Mike. Easy. Pull up in the real. Nice fish. I've never caught a fish before in my life, so it was a crazy experience. My first time fishing and catching a really big five pound bass. Look at that. It was a sudden rush like, of adrenaline. I, I really liked it a lot. I enjoyed it, and uh, so did she. We'll start whining fast. Whine as fast as you can. Emma's got one on. Holy cow. <laughs> Emma, it's huge. You caught a catfish. And she was excited, and she had caught her first fish. He caught his first fish. So as far as I saw it, we'd already had a success and their fishing career start right at that moment. It was really fun catching the fish. The ones I caught were two catfish and then I got four bass. You know, the most excitement I had was, you know, sitting on the dock, watching the look on their <laughs> face and the enjoyment. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Good job, guys. We're heading back to Tween Waters to go out kayaking. I was very scared to kayak because I'm really not a deep water person. I'm more on the shore, even at a pool, as opposed to the ocean. <laughs> After about five or 10 minutes, I realized it wasn't gonna tip over and I really enjoyed it. I did like it. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish, we decided to do something pretty special, which is Goliath grouper fishing. She gave birth to three kids. I think she definitely can do it. Oh my God. Why now? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. I don't think I had any idea what we were in for at that point. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by 
Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Pet Boys does everything for less. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. FWC, there's only one season in Florida, fishing season. Also by Sperry Van S Commercial Realty, Buff, and the Florida Sports Foundation. While taking the McDonald family on a shopping excursion, Peter discovers that Mike and Emma have never caught a fish. No, never. No way. No. With the help of Madison and the folks at Bass Pro Shops, they quickly put them on the fish. Way to go, guys. Nice job. Now it's mom and dad's turn, if they don't miss the boat. So I'd given them their call time for the morning, and I asked them to be there at about 7 a.m. Um, they're supposed to be down here at 7. It's only, they're only five minutes late, so I can deal with that. 7.15, I'm going to start to get a little, a little itchy. 7.15, 7.20, 7.30, and I realized they weren't coming. I said, ah, let me call them. Yeah, come on down. We're ready to go whenever you are. And then they came down about 7.45. Brother, so, sorry, kid. I thought you said 8. And when I called, they were both sleeping. The classic, no, no, I've been awake for hours. I'm good. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> He's getting his beauty rest. I know, I can hear that. <laughs> I don't want to waste a pretty, you know? I know, you can't waste it. We decided to do something pretty special, which is Goliath grouper fishing. For many years now, I've been watching this guy down here on the southwest coast named Ben Chancy. So I gave him a call, and he was more than willing to take us out and show us the ropes. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. He was a great guy. I mean, definitely knew what he was talking about. I've seen you catch some slobs. What's your biggest one, like six, 700 pounds or something? Yeah, like an eight floater. They told me this is just like snook fishing, so yeah. can't be that high, right? <laughs> I see he brought someone for us to pick on, too. Yeah. You guys know me by now. I'm, I'm a little over the top at times, and he kind of put me in my place. He's like, all right, kid from Boston, let's go down and catch some uh, Goliath group. You being a hockey guy, you know, I'm like a perfect guy for uh, Mucking up in the corners, you mean? A little bit of banging around, a nice yeah. fight, you know, that type nice. of deal. I like that. These Goliath group are different. I asked him to kind of explain how we're going to go about fighting this. When you feel a hit, it'll go like that, boom, like that. Yeah. What you have to do is, is you crank down fast to right here. As soon as it gets tight, that's when you sit. So I'm coming forward. It's like a seesaw. Exactly. <laughs> What's interesting about the Goliath grouper is that when they eat, they eat big. So big that we're, we're feeding them 20 pound stingrays live with 14-0 circle hooks with cable as line. With a rod that was the size of a telephone pole, the reel was equally as big. I think the two of those together had to weigh 15 to 20 pounds just to start. And then you put a 20 pound stingray on his base, so and now you're holding about 40 pounds. And I said, hey, who wants to try it? I thought maybe the dad would go, but then the mom, she said, sign me up, I want in, so. You think she's gonna be able to do it? She gave birth to three kids, I think she definitely can do it. She jumped in there, grabbed the rod, you drop it down, Boom, we're on. Okay, you got a bite. Go, go, help her, help her, help her. Help Wind her, down, help her. pull up. Sit, 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 sit. I don't think I had any idea what we were in for at that point. Oh my God. I was holding the rod with all my weight and I'm looking back going, why are you sitting on the ground? There you go, babe. Now we're down, we're down. Can't crank, let's go. All right, there you go. There you go, now sit, good job. Keep him off the pilots. Oh, Jesus. He's gone, he's gone. She thought oh. we were going like yeah, the, bass fishing. Yeah, I, didn't, I never, I never thought it was going to be as challenging as it was. That was a fight. Mm, yes, it is, isn't it? I think the bait's gone. The stingray just got sucked down by a gigantic fish, ripped off the hook. Mike was ready for the battle, but I don't think he really knew it was about to happen. Yep. I was scared for him. Okay, ready? We're going to pull up now? All right, right now, right now, right now. You get that first thump and it almost feels like it's gonna pull you over. Okay, ready? You're gonna pull up. Okay. Yeah, I got it. The rod's pulling, he's freaking out. You know, I'm holding with all my might. Reel down. Good. Now sit back. Now reel down. Ready? Go, 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 go. You're the man. Come on. All right. Nice. Go. Real, real. He was dripping sweat, grimacing like I've never seen anyone grimace before. And he's shaking, I'm shaking, the rod's bouncing. I mean, it was unbelievable. Can't crank, let's go. Now sit, good job. Now wind down. It's intense, it's a, it's a crazy feeling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go around the other side, one bit. Follow me, follow me with the rod. Follow me with the rod, all the way. All the way, keep coming, Mike. I knew he could do it, I was worried. He might go in, trying to do it. <sighs> wow, he's falling, he's trying to get back in there. <laughs> good, now reel down. Honey, working it. Okay, great. 
There he is. Oh, oh, no way. Way. Awesome. Good job, honey. <sighs> Look at that thing. I'm so proud of you, honey. You did such a nice job. Well, she's seen me coach girls hockey in the past, <laughs> and she knows that um, I'm a little tenacious. Oh, my God. <laughs> How big is it? 150. 150. Nice, man. It's unbelievable. I can't even describe it. You know, I want to tell my buddies back home, if you ever have a chance to come down and go Goliath group or fishing, you have to do it, you know? Way to go, bro. Look at the hockey guy. Look how bad he's sweating. It's not, it's not easy, you know? It really isn't. Yeah, baby. Way to go, Ben. All right. Way to go, go, man. Woo! Way to go, Mike. That was awesome. Good job, Michael. Thanks, bro. Like, there's no way to describe that. Yeah. You literally feel like you're just going to fall over. Like, without you, it's almost like your safety blanket. I'm like, dude, don't go anywhere. Safety blanket. <laughs> I'm like, After battling fish like that all day, you're just exhausted. And they were both just happy, shaking, tired, and very thankful, very grateful for having this experience. Thanks, nice brother. Nice job. We're proud of you. That was awesome. You got to shake Ben's hand for putting you, putting you on that lovely fish. It's a little bit of Florida fishing for you, Thanks, my man. Yeah. That's the craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's a rush. It is. It's, it's, it's an adrenaline rush. They had the time of their lives. I had the time of my life. And to go back over what happened this week here in Captiva, it's just truly remarkable. We had great weather, great people, amazing fish bites. The food was good. The company was better. First time catches, unbelievable. Go to Versus.com and find out how you can audition to be the next guest on Bass to Billfish.